Welcome into another edition of Talking Fitchburg. It's a Talking Fitchburg update on this Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. I'm Jeremy Crosby. I hope you're having a wonderful day uh, and happy uh, April to you. No April Fool's jokes here today. Just straight up updates for you on this first day of April. We start with an update on COVID-19 and the city's uh, uh, information uh, spot. Uh, the city of Fitchburg has compiled a single page uh, on its homepage about the closure and cancellations in the city, as well as a list of links to the statewide COVID-19 uh, information. You can still uh, still have questions about the services and available. We can contact the city hall at 270-4200. Fire department uh, relay questions can go to their number, 270-7070. And uh, yeah, you can also just uh, feel free to uh, certainly go online. Uh, Fact TV's got a lot of resources as well. And Scott, I do want to jump over, if we can, here quick uh, to my computer uh, and show you this uh, this new location for it. It is up at the top left corner here. You can see it's blinking in red. It's COVID-19 information. So we have had a page this whole time, uh, but it's been located in the city news uh, part. Now it is uh, here at the top. Uh, and all you got to do is click on the button, and it will take you right into the resource page. And again, keeping you up to date on what's happening uh, uh, as far as the city's response to COVID-19. Great resources and more all available here at the website for you. FitchburgWI.gov. You can find out more information there. All right. Uh, we need poll workers for the April 7th election. If you are interested in helping out, we need you now. That's right. This is a, uh, these are one day paid positions. If you can work without jeopardizing your health or health of others, we need you consider volunteering for your high school uh, with your high school uh, child to teach them about democracy available shifts uh, are on the screen uh, as listed and uh, yeah just share it up if you know anybody you can help us out we need the help folks 608-270-4200 talk to my friend tracy uh, over there uh, she's our clerk and she'll get you uh, everything you need to know uh, as we get uh, closer to the election day speaking of election election safety top priority uh, for the you, the residents of Fitchburg. We've got a list of uh, some of those uh, safety tips that they will be uh, uh, using uh, as it comes to the election uh, on uh, uh, for the election day, April 7th twisted my words here. All election inspectors will be uh, provided with masks and gloves. Markers will be on the floor to indicate a six foot distance. Voters can enter the polling uh, locations when a marker becomes available. Hope for good weather that day, it says. And uh, yeah, of course, we want to hope for good weather. Hand sanitizer will be provided for voters when they enter and leave the polling location. Staff will be des designated to clean all voting booths, badger screens, and pens after each use. Voters are strongly encouraged to bring their own uh, ballpoint blue or black pen to mark the ballot. Uh, no felt tip pens or markers are acceptable. Booths will be at least or at a six foot distance apart to practice that social distancing. And we'll keep you up to date on any other changes as it gets closer here to uh, the election uh, day next Tuesday. Uh, your uh, absentee voting uh, today, uh, what is it, April uh, 2nd? Or was it April 1st or 2nd? The, yeah, April 2nd uh, to uh, vote uh, via absentee. And we strongly encourage you to do that, that we don't have to come down to the polls. And remember, city halls close. We do have it by appointment only. So if you do uh, need to uh, do any city business, just look up the website, find the department, and give them a call. All right, uh, from uh, the trash pickup side, uh, Pelletieri uh, informing the city here that large item collections uh, will not be provided. So due to the COVID-19, uh, large item collection has has been deemed a potential health hazard to the drivers. Reports have indicated that the virus can stay on both hard surfaces and fabrics for a duration of time. Curbside large item collection is suspended until further notice. Uh, it says here, we're not sure uh, when it will resume, but likely after most of the non-essential restrictions have been lifted. Uh, also, uh, it says here, we encourage you to call to recommend an alternative disposal method. Uh, we will continue to do 
the cart uh, uh, deliveries and exchanges uh, at curbside. It's much more manageable uh, to sanitize carts than a couch or refrigerator. <laughs> so those big, large items, yeah, it's not happening. And uh, so continue to follow uh, those uh, practices there. And uh, we continue to pick up extra bags of recycling outside of the cart and extra bags of trash that residents pay for. Remember, extra recycling must be in a clear plastic bag. Please bag trash and recyclable securely, even when it's in the cart. Carts can uh, tip over and uh, tip over for a few different reasons. We haven't had any, well, the last couple of days, not heavy winds, but that'd be one of them. Content spills out. It poses a hazard to the driver to pick up loose trash and recycling. Uh, so uh, picture all the pop cans touching people's lips. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good mental picture there. So, uh, yeah, please uh, make sure you secure everything in that cart. Uh, and if you got any question, you can contact Pella Terry or give us a call here at City of Fitchburg. All right, uh, turning to the scans, Fitchburg Senior Center wants to remind you of some possible scams out there. Uh, and uh, here's what it is. The website, uh, Coronavirus Medicaid, is it Medic? Medical, oh, medical Kit. Dot com, And it says here that uh, is uh, seeking the profit from the uh, confusion and uh, widespread of fear surrounding COVID-19. The website claims to offer World Health Organization WHO vaccine kits in exchange for shipping charge to be paid by a credit card. That's false. Not a good one there. Some Social Security uh, beneficiaries have received letters uh, through the mail stating that due to the Social Security offices being closed, COVID-19, their payments may be suspended or discontinued unless they call a phone number reference in the letter. If the beneficiaries call, scammers may uh, mislead them into providing personal information, including a bank account and credit card numbers. Yeah, they are not. They are not doing that. Be wary of the unsolicited email, phone calls, letters in the mail offering information, products, or services related to the treatment of COVID-19. Research uh, any charities or crowdfunding sites soliciting donations in connection with the COVID-19 before giving donations. Remember, an organization may not be legitimate even if it uses words like CDC or <laughs> government or gov uh, in its name or logos. Be wary of uh, investments, opportunities tied to COVID-19, especially those based on claims that their companies produce uh, products may help stop the virus. And do not click on links or open emails attachments from unknown or unverified uh, sources. Doing so could download a virus on your computer or device. Yeah, you don't want to do that ever. Never give out your social security number, credit card information, or bank account to someone you don't know. And finally, for the, for the most up-to-date information on COVID-19, visit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, or the World Health Organization, WHO websites to report suspected fraud schemes related to COVID-19. Call the National Center for Disaster Fraud. And you can uh, call them there. I would also urge you to call the Department of Egg Trade Consumer Protection right here in Wisconsin. They can help you through that, plus the Better Business Bureau as well, uh, all uh, helping to fight scams here uh, during this time. But those were the, some of the ones that were passed on to us from the Fitchburg Senior Center. All right, uh, looking at uh, parks and the parks being closed, I wanted to remind you of a, of a few things uh, out at the parks. You're going to see some new signs out there, and if I can get this uh, up here, uh, oh boy, now we're now we're a little bit frozen. Well, let's let's do this and this. Um, yeah, the parks. Uh, there it is. Open and uh, if I open it in preview, then it will do what I want. I bet. All right, there we go. <laughs> Live TV at its best, right? Uh, all right, closed uh, right now. Uh, these signs you'll see uh, at uh, the uh, city parks here, and uh, it gives you reminders that uh, uh, the safer at home uh, order that's in place uh, uh, means that uh, playground equipment and stuff is uh, closed, but to protect public health, the basketball courts are closed. Uh, this, these new things coming out here from our parks department, so I wanted to uh, share those with you here, uh, that the 
uh, golf course is uh, closed as well. And uh, even uh, the uh, picnic uh, or park shelters, they're closed. And the tennis courts as well closed uh, during this time. So uh, if you are uh, heading out uh, to the parks, well, I want you to stay safe while you head out there. Uh, you may notice these uh, up uh, at the parks. And yeah, it's uh, all about safety, right? We want to keep you safe out there. So uh, these signs will be posted to help you remember that uh, those areas are closed. And uh, as soon as that changes, we will pass that out to you. But all coming in the uh, Safer at Home uh, that was put out by the governor. So, uh, yeah, let's practice. Uh, you know, going outside, which I've seen that come up many times about going outside, not going outside. It, it's safe to go outside. It's not safe to go outside and have a party with everybody, right? Just go outside, take a walk, and practice social distancing and uh, try to avoid contact with anybody or anything. It's just easy as that. All right, moving on. We've got some cool stories uh, that we'll be sharing with you uh, with local businesses uh, here in the Fitchburg area helping out in the national cause uh, for COVID-19. And this one's really cool. Brown Sales uh, has put together a uh, design uh, uh and uh, launches a new cloth face mask. And we're going to be talking with this company and many of the other ones uh, coming up here uh, on uh, Talking Fitchburg. But this is so cool. It says here, COVID-19 has taken America uh, in the uh, world by storm. Face mask shortage uh, among healthcare workers and the general public alike are at a shortage. Brown sales is not uh, content to, or not any content to witness these problems sweeping ac uh, across the globe without doing whatever it can to assist during this crisis. Crisis. Accordingly, accordingly we, we have invested in a significant time and resources to design and launch a new product called the Deluxe Cloth Face Mask with antibacterial cover. These are pretty cool, actually, <laughs> if you're looking at these here uh, right now. Uh, and it says, in the course of only one week, they have taken this product from concept to product or production ready. We are officially uh, releasing this item into production uh, today, March 30th. The first masks are expected to be ready and shipped by Monday, April 6th or sooner, which is pretty cool. Deluxe cloth face mask with anti uh, core. Uh, is it anti? Uh, how do you say that? There you go, anti, no, I think it's not antibacterial, antimicrobial microbial <laughs> cover. Let's just say it's got a double layer cotton cloth face mask that's going to protect you from uh, uh, these, uh, the, basically the COVID. And it's just cool that they're uh, stepping up here on this production. Again, we're going to break this down uh, with uh, this company and uh, a couple other companies uh, here coming up. Uh, very, very excited to share that with you. Uh, and just so proud that uh, we've got uh, businesses across the U.S. stepping up and helping out uh, during these tough times. And uh, yeah, I could not be uh, more proud of the businesses here in Fitchburg for uh, being a part of that. And we've heard them, uh, I've heard them in the national news quite a few times the different uh, companies that uh, we'll be talking with so very excited for that finally we're going to turn our attention here to the construction our, uh, Fish, our Fitchburg uh, construction has begun over on Verona Road and on Fish Hatchery Road and we want to make sure to uh, give you a few information here so Scott go ahead and uh, put this up want to quickly show you here that the website is uh, set up and ready to go for the Fish Hatchery Road reconstruction project this gives you all the details you need to know uh, where that project is going to be, including uh, just a ton of resources. Everything that you ever want to know about this project is in this area. But I want to focus on this, uh, where the construction uh, is starting. And uh, it is uh, started uh, as of today. So they kind of, we talked with Bill last week. We'll get another update from him uh, today, April 1st, uh, on this. But uh, basically, uh, Southbound Fish Hatchery Road uh, will be reconstruction from Traceway Drive. Uh, what he told us is they are working on the median uh, in this area right now for the crossover traffic. So traffic will be moved to one side, they'll do uh, the construction, and then they'll swap and do the other side. Um, things that may change, and I've heard this from a lot of construction projects across Wisconsin and the U.S., of uh, due to the low volume and traffic, um, people are really trying to like step up the road construction uh, uh, while you're at home, uh, which is a good thing. So uh, again, some things may change as far as what they're doing day to day, uh, but ultimately uh, the construction will be moving 
forward. Your next question is, I mean, again, maybe once we get back into uh, full uh, construction operation or full normal life of going to work and to from work, all that fun stuff, uh, is alternate routes. And we've got the map here for you uh, showing uh, two of the detours. So uh, these would be the uh, main uh, major detours uh, to go around this. So you could either take uh, Verona Road. And again, Verona Road is open uh, as far as uh, that uh, goes. Uh, or you could take US Highway 14, both of them bringing you back here to South Fish Hatchery Road through County. Highway uh, M, uh, I believe, on both sides of that, and that is correct. So uh, those are there, and there's more detours available on there, even for bikers. They have that information on there. Again, the website FritchburgWI.gov, and uh, yeah, if you uh, look here, you basically you go under Public Works, Engineering, Construction, and then you'll see the Fish Hatchery Road uh, information there. And again, sign up for construction updates uh, as they'll be uh, starting to come out here uh, in the, the next few weeks. All right, that does it for me in this update. Uh, we'll be back with another update on Friday. Uh, we will have, uh, again, a construction update with Bill Balky coming out as well uh, and uh, looking to get back into some regular scheduled programming down the road. I'll get you the details uh, as we get to that. But for now, uh, we'll continue to do our, uh, con or our updates here. I almost said our construction updates. We will do those too. Uh, but we'll continue to do our Talking Fitchburg updates. So for everybody here, thank you. Stay safe out there. We'll be back with another update on Friday.